for designing the learning experience. Okay. So here are some uh, like for survey rollouts, you can use a survey monkey. Please take it on uh, like uh, many people are asking like what are the, the different tools that we can use for the way you can use this survey monkey and the Google form. Google form is most easy and uh, helpful and it's all free and you use that. So for survey rollouts, you can use a survey monkey and the Google form. And for broadcast and sharing information, use WhatsApp broadcast, Facebook workplace or the Skype, Google Drive, Google Meet or Microsoft Teams. And translation, uh, if there is a need of translation, Google Translate it is a good one or else easy Hindi typing, easy Hindi typing. And similarly, some other regional languages, uh, uh, you can get like there are a lot of uh, tools are there. Yeah. And e-learning course, like uh, where we can, or else I can say that uh, Zoom, loom.com Zoom, okay. Then uh, like LMS for this LMS, you can have Bridge, we have, Learn upon, we have Adobe. There are a lot of LMSs are there in order to provide the e learning process. Presentation tools, obviously, uh, PowerPoint, Google Slides, and Prezi. Prezi is also a new tool that helps us to give presentations. And the graphics and the infographics, Canva is the best. I think we have discussed this one how Canva works. It's like Flash kind of activities. Canva is a good tool to create some flashcards or to create some easy, catchy uh, informations for the learners. Video editing tool, Ken Masters and iMovie. Uh, the Kind Master is also available in the desktop as well as in a mobile also. There are some other good apps which are not uh, compatible to our desktop versions. So Ken Master is also good. You can also use Window Movie Maker, which is already inbuilt in our uh, desktops of the computers. Window Movie Maker is also good enough for very simple activities. Or else Adobe Premium Pro. Adobe Premium Pro is the best standard one, which can use it for the activities. For editing purpose, you can create anything in the Adobe Premium Pro. Or else Corel Draw, oh, sorry, Edis. Edis is also one of the video editing tool uh, is used for e-learning content development. Edis is having a lot of, it's not Edis, EDS. Sorry, I spelled out wrong. It is EDS, EDS, E-D-I. Yes, something is that EDS is a good tool that is helpful. And another one, Pinnacle. Pinnacle is having a lot of animation kind of things for the video editing. No need to struggle a lot in the Pinnacle. You can easily do, do that. And these, uh, if you want to download these uh, video editing softwares and you can practice them on, you can get into my PCs in a one website where you can download. Audio tools of uh, the Audio City and Watson text to speech. Like if you want to convert uh, some script into voice, so you can type over there and select the voice modulation and that will give you the, the audio kind of things, whatever you have typed over in the box. Writing tools, Grammarly, uh, Hamgiveway, uh, Evernote and MS Office 360. Please, you can use it. Grammarly is most commonly you can use, install it and you can correct your grammars and spellings. And even in Microsoft 360, it is, it's available. In built, it is. Is that clear? 